and welcome to this XFC desktop. I'm gonna make a video about this um, menu, this menu down here. We click on it with the mouse, everything works fine, but if we press with the super, so the super key on your keyboard on the left, many of you expect this, this, this thing to pop up, right? Well, there's a reason for that, of course. If you're on Arc Linux, you have XFC, Openbox, and i3. And XFC relies on a panel down here. And Openbox does not rely on a panel. But the key still exists, which gives an, an error if you uh, install that, if you have this keyboard shortcut in Openbox, because Openbox relies partially on all the settings of XFCE, but also the keyboard shortcut. So this video is for the people who have a XFC say I'll never use Openbox, I never use i3, that's one. For all the people on Arc Linux B, XFCE, the full one, or the minimal one, or the people on Arc Linux D who installed XFCE. And not Openbox, right? So, where do we do this? Let's um, add some more knowledge also about your system. So, I've just um, analyzed and, and, and made deeping a little bit better. So what you do if you go inside a desktop, you start typing, um, well, names, and then press tab. These are all the stuff you can do with XFC4, right? These are all the applications about your desktop. When you're in deeping, you do something else. You start typing deeping, right? Like this, and then press tab, tab. Also, DDE, tab, tab. And you see all the applications of deeping. In the case of XFC, you also need to type XF, tap, tap. Because there are other things as well. You see here, down here, that there are uh, elements for to set the XF WM4 settings, the tweaks, the workspaces. There is more to it than just XFC4 prefix here. Okay, so knowing that, figuring out all the applications that's provided, uh, that, that we don't provide, Arch Linux provides, and maybe even further, XFC provides Arch Linux, all these applications, then we need to find this little line here. Why? How do we know that? Right, right mouse click, whisker menu. Okay, so this thing is the whisker menu. What we've done is delete a keyboard shortcut. What you can do is put a keyboard shortcut back in. So maybe you've, done, you've already had the idea, hey, what would happen if I just type this thing in? and say, run it, then this happens, right? So it seems if you start to this application, XFC4 pop-up whisker menu, that's exactly the thing we want to have when we press super. So the only thing I need to know, figure out is, are there, is there a way in XFC to put a keyboard shortcut in? And there is, of course, so lots of keyboard shortcuts are here. And basically that's why we don't really need it this, this super button because we always say Ctrl Alt V, Vivaldi Ctrl Alt F, and we are Ctrl Alt T, etc. etc. All these short shortcuts are in here. So what I'm gonna do is say to XFC, I'm gonna make a new one for you guys. So add, what do you want to do as command? My command is this guy. This is my command, Ctrl Shift C. Control V. So this is my the exact copy of the code of the command that's going to work. Then OK. Then it says press now the key I want to use to trigger the command, blah, blah, blah. All right, so no keys pressed yet, proceed. I'm gonna press my left super. You can also press maybe the right super, up to you. It's another keyboard you have to make. But normally any key, any distro hopper will say it's the left super, right? So super L is has been quickly added and it's in here somewhere. In here is the XFC4 pop-up whisker menu. That's all we're gonna need if we press super, and this is me pressing super, you have to trust me on that, then this thing just works. And we have solved, uh, solved one uh, more issue. So if you want to have this super key back, that's all it needs. Put a keyboard shortcut to XFC4 pop-up whisker menu. All right, cheers.